We recreated Max's Kansas City, and Devin is hanging out there, as well as Bruce Springsteen, John Lennon, Bob Marley and Peter Tosh are on stage with the Whalers. And I said, no, wait a minute. Are we, this seems very stacked with very famous people. Are we just loading this scene with recognizable faces? And the producer said, no, this was a real night. A night that didn't seem historic at the time because it was just another great night of music in New York. The 70s was the most interesting period because so many different things were happening. 73 specifically was the year that punk, disco, and hip hop all were invented within a six month period of each other, within about a five mile radius of each other in New York City. Richie, this is Kip Stevens. You guys ready? Certainly by the time 1973 came around in New York City, there was a sort of groundswell of a new sound. Uh, that Richie was in on the ground floor of uh, you know, the birth of punk here in New York City and various clubs that were open here. The thing that was so exciting about the punk movement was really, it was kind of like a revolution. Fucking play it! Yeah, they're just saying like, fuck you. That's what they're saying. And they're saying it with their lyrics, with their attitude, with their snarls. Most of the music that the Nasty Bits do in the show are things that we've done originally for the show. We've been recording in Electric Lady, which is a very prestigious old studio in the West Village, which was famously Jimi Hendrix set up in the, in the early 70s. Yeah. 